do the work. Eat a burger. You want, eat a burger. Put it to, you put it to uh, rest. Do it. So now we know. Daddy's at the law firm until eight hours, and, and Daddy's watching it. XXX I get, I get, down in the fucking basement. Get that out of my face. <laughs> Will you punch the burger? I'm gonna throw it. Did Definitely. you go to therapy? Yes. Yeah, we changed it. We're back up. Come on, Dude, you, you, got, you, got a lot, you got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. You got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. <laughs> We've seen him <laughs> two places. All right, Healthy Debate Thursday, March 6th. We are in the thick of it with Championship Weekend. A lot of stories coming out of that. Uh, some wild high school stories, or just at least one coming out. Uh, with that, we got buzzer beaters galore. Uh, I owe Jason Kelsey an apology. I'm sure we're going to get some calls from our friends in Queens. We got a lot of things going on. Let's a lot of barstool stories as well, Jessica. I think we're gonna open with those. But let's start. Let's stories. let's start with the the hand Close up. The door real quick. Let's start with the hand up accountability. Okay. In terms of Jason Kelsey. So for those of you not familiar, I had a very hard stance. He's got to wear sleeves. He looks like a dildo. Um, you know, look at a formal event. Like, what is he doing? Story comes out today. He did this to honor a trainer who missed the game. He also got his ankles taped. The guy's going through chemo transplants. Uh, missed his game. Obviously, you know, a really, really hard time. They mean uh, they have a great relationship. He did this to kind of honor him. I stand by what I said at the time. You're entitled to your opinion at that time. I did truly think he should have wore sleeves. Yeah. Now we're at a, you get to a point, you see this, you get a crossroads. Do you double down and become an asshole or, you know, and keep going? Or do you realize, hey, hand up, I fucked up. Hand up, 100% fucked up. This is what makes sports beautiful. Probably should have given Kelsey the benefit of the doubt that he's beloved across Philly. I like the guy as well, just from the outside. I didn't know who the fuck he was five years ago. I'm going to be honest. I don't know who centers are. He wasn't gathering huge attention in the media. Maybe when I saw it, I probably would have said, oh, yeah, that's the guy from the Mummers Parade or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I would have connected the dots. Uh, or figured out also Kelsey, oh, is that his brother? You know what I mean? Is that... His brother. Uh, but knowing what you know about him now, you watch the podcast, you watch the clips, you see the stuff he does, philanthropy and stuff like that. You probably, I probably should have known there was a, a reason behind it. Yeah. Um, and again, this is what makes sports memorable. One of my best friends won an award on Staten Island, and at the end of the speech, he thanked all his teammates, and the last kid he thanked was the team manager who was kid who couldn't play. He was a big fat kid. Like he he uh, rebounded for him every day after practice and said how much better better he made him than that. The stuff between the bond of people like that in the locker room, that's all what we love about it. It's my fondest memories of – I don't remember scores of games in and out. I remember the look in a guy's eye when you need a play made and him looking at you be like, I got you. Let's pick up. You know what I mean? Like, that's all that. So, Kelsey has all that. He's a true competitor. He did this to help a guy, again, who's behind the scenes, probably st comes early, stays late, doesn't get the glory he's supposed to, probably helped him through his career a million ways yeah. that no one saw. Like, he was probably banged up, and he's like – Maybe you shouldn't play. He did something to help him play. You know what I mean? Like, got him through it, rehabilitated through off-season injuries, uh, let him go. You know, I'm sure the coach is like, hey, tell me if he's not 100%, he's not playing. And he probably, I mean, this happens a lot. He probably lied for Kelsey as well. You know what I mean? Like, he knows Kelsey's banged up, and he's probably at 75%. But Kelsey also knows he'd rather get stabbed in the throat than not play. You ever see the and, clip of uh, Amendola and Edelman talking on some podcast about how they would run over to each other when they get knocked out, and they'd be like, Today's September 7th. It's about 3 p.m. <laughs> grab your arm. Grab your arm. Grab your arm. To make him, like, not think it was a head injury. Yeah, so Maybe exactly. it's some shit like that to help him out. Yeah, so, like, you know Kelsey didn't didn't want to not play. Uh, yeah. And that guy probably took care of him when the coach came and said, tell me if he's not 100%. He was like, no, no, he's good. He's good. You know what I mean? So, um, big bond. Obviously, this guy's going through a, a horrible thing. We wish uh, Joe Opala is the name. Make sure I get that right. Uh, yeah, hold on one second. Let us is it, it's Opafa or Opala? Joe Opella. Opella. Joe Opella. Uh, wish him, obviously, the best. And, uh, Jason Kelly. Jason Kelsey, hands up. I fucked up. You can do whatever you want. Class act by you. Um, Barstool stuff. Yeah. Dave pulled the plug on Clemmer. He did. Uh, Clemmer just got trending. He's got an hour to go now, and then he'll put it back up. Um, there is some chatter that Liam said it would be very funny if he turns it back on and Clemmer's asleep and Dave goes, you know what? This did suck. And he pulls the plug again. 
Uh, I think Clemmer's going through the thick of it. This is tough. This is a tough. It's, it's a tough spot. It's so funny. It is so goddamn funny that Clemmer was like yesterday, like you don't know what type of leverage I have in here, and it's like really, man. <laughs> we could just end the stream and keep you here for two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do uh, feel really bad for Clemmer. Use hashtag Clemmer. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a really really tough spot. The only thing I think could have maybe helped, and Dave came on the yak and kind of said, like, there was obviously not a lot going on besides him sleeping during it, and he had the challenges, and it just kind of seemed overall boring. I think something that could have incentivized him to do the streams a little bit more, I mean, the challenges, was if he completed a challenge, he would get he X did. amount of hours, I'm saying, off. taking off the top. Like, he was doing because 100 regardless. Because if he's in there for 100 regardless, why I is he going to do this I'm stupid I'm not going to say the rewards, but the rewards were really fucking sick. So the rewards were not Yeah, but up? you're still no. in there. No, like, they weren't chopping time? I think that was no, the way like, to make this, like, feasible I don't want to say it. I don't know if I could say it, but, like, I know that if he completed the rice one yesterday, like, he's just... Well, here's also, the kicker. He's these dumb, right, there right, needs right. to be some type of immediate... I know there's a lot of people behind the scenes. Viewer. Let me give this kicker as well, Jetski, to that point. He doesn't know what time it is anyway. Correct. So here's the kicker I would have thought. You know, like, you see the reveals on reality shows and stuff like that. What if they did this? They told him he was getting hours cut off of the uh, end result yes. when he got challenges correct. Yes. What if he still stayed in there for the 100 hours? Then he gets that's, ultimate like, brownie points and ultimate. That, no, no, no. That's the kicker. You wouldn't have. T they could tell. All right. Oh, no matter what. Put it at this the way. End, at the You're in the thing, okay? okay. I'm, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. the warden. Do this puzzle. You get five With, hours you do off. It. And he does a bunch five of gets hours 20 off. hours. And then at Two 80, hours they're off. like, nah. And he's going, this is sick. This is sick. Like. I'm down to 80 hours. All right, it must have been 80 hours. You got no clock. You're fucking trapped in there. He still would have done the 100. When he walked out, he's like, oh, that was, you know, made it easier. I don't know if I would have lasted the 75. Or I would have lasted the whole 100. I'm glad I did 75. It's like, buddy, you did the whole 100. You ever see that clip in, uh, it's some movie that's like horrible, but they tell the kid, bear crawl with a guy on his shoulders on the field for 20 yards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gets to like 10, or he gets to 20, and he's like, keep going. And the kid's like, I must be there already. He gets to 50, he makes him crawl the whole field. Yeah, and when yeah. he lands, he's dead. The kid's like dead. And the coach goes, you just did the whole 100. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. you don't know what you're fucking capable of when you put the blinders on, you know what I mean? And not just look at, oh, I can't do that, I can't do that. So that would have been a hell of a reveal too. Just my idea. But Yeah. I just think that for these challenges, like it's an interesting dynamic that you need to entertain the viewer while also making it hard, but it needs to be like something that's – like the free throw challenge, the reason it was so enticing was because you guys got so close so many times, and it wasn't like unfeasible to get to 20, but 41 is super difficult. Agreed. So like totally you get to agree. 20, it collapses. There's yeah. a buildup, and then there's more anticipation. I mean, but there is, there is an element – Even, there wasn't even really with that. that, listen, the, the free throw challenge had a lot, ton of personalities and a lot of special guests. It's tough and, to do it by yourself. And, and whatever, yeah, 100%. But, you know, that was an element of just when – like, if your girlfriend walked in and your wife walked in, it's like, what do you want? Well, they're just shooting, <laughs> just shooting free throws. With this, it's kind of like he's trapped in a room. There can't be really any, and no one else is coming in. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, don't get me wrong. I think it's a great idea. It's just, it is, it's just him in a room. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, but I feel bad for, like, like, I agree with, like, the people that, like, are helping run it. It's like, you give him something that he should, should take agree, in. Yeah. That should be well, miserable. And, like, you know, he has to entertain it, like, interact. Like, it's supposed to also be, like, torture because that's – Solitary yes. confinement. It's, he can't interact with the chat. It's not that type of stream. But when he just doesn't do the puzzle, it's like, okay, now the stream's boring because you're not doing the puzzle with oven mitts on for, like, you're just doing 20 minutes of it instead of what should be eight hours. And then when you don't get the reward, it's supposed to be a punishment. When the punishment comes, you're like, I'm not doing the punishment. I'm going to unplug it. So then it's like, it's just him sitting around. Yeah, well, and then I, he won't do the race. I think the real, the real uh, lesson of the story is... You're better off. I think Dave would have less of an issue if you died on camera, trying to do something, than, made it boring. than pulling the white flag. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, no, not making it boring. Sorry, not pulling, pulling the white flag. Yes, we've seen how that's well, I don't gone. Know. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, the, I would, I mean even he, we're, the we're, white we're flag. dying, he just, we're dying shooting free throws, and we're all like, Dave, pull the plug, pull the plug, and he's like, I can't do it, can't do it. It's against. I, I just can't do it. It'll be. I've said it so many times. I've put my feet in the ground. I just, I can't do it. You know what I mean? Like, it's. You're in it, you know? Like, I think Jerry's gone through that a little bit, too. Like, it's, bro, it's tough, but you, you got to learn. They they hammer you if you if you don't. If you have less of an issue if you literally died on camera than waving the white flag. So, shout out to Jerry, by the way. Last night was, that's fucking insane. Yeah, it's more impressive than Caitlin three. Clark. <laughs> we like Caitlin Clark. No, we also more like Jerry. It's, it's more impressive than Caitlin Clark He was Clark lights did. out. He's yeah. also, leave it to the union guy to have the fucking assembly line with yeah, the balls. Yeah, yeah. Very smart. I told him, I said, one piece of advice, don't jump with threes. You're going to kill your legs. 
he jumped and he still like had it. The free throws he hit, he hit eight hundred close to eight hundred free throws in yeah. not that long. He was lights out. I don't know. He's like a savant with weird shit like that, but. And he was obviously probably practicing every day, like this past weekly. I mean, he's got access is, to the court, yeah, for sure. But you know, five and a half hours, I was not expect. I thought he'd still be going. So credit to him. That's crazy. I mean, just the fact that Clemmer's most like viral or like funniest thing was him with the Frank. I'm all locked up. Yeah. Like, that, like, and then he just pulls the plug. Right. And he has no. The most frustrating part is, you can't go in there and be like. You have to do the challenge because you have to be more, more entertaining or whatever. Like he has no fucking idea. Why can't you slip like slip a note or he had a it's solita- it's it's solita- solita- human inter- it's solitary confinement? <laughs> it's human interaction. He's not. I mean, he wanted to do it legit. I give him credit. I don't know if I would have been able to do it. It's a hard thing. It's tough. The same way, like Dave said, you know, he's gonna sleep his way through. Like if you're gonna make the hundred hours, like I, I would have slept a lot too. I don't. You know what I mean? Like he also like didn't know when to like this morning, like. I don't, I don't think he knew when to wake up. I guess. Yeah, that too. You just keep sleeping. If no, if you have no look of the Perception sun rising, time, no yeah. phone. So yeah, yeah that's what I would have done too. I would have been asleep for a long time. Well, he's still sleeping right now. I'm pretty sure. No. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. There's just a still a feed. Day. He went back sleep. to sleep. Yeah, he's, he's sleeping right now. <laughs> no, there's no chance. Yeah. Can we show? Can we just put it up to this camera right here? Pull it up. Pick it up. I don't. I don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't want to touch that. We don't want to touch that. We don't want to touch that. We don't want to touch that. We're not streaming something that was to- said not to be streamed. But there is a we live need, feed. There's a live feed. Time out. Time out. Check on him. We need a full. We need a full on. We need a full on supervisor in that booth. And that's not a knocking you, Jessica. It's not that dude. It's not gonna fill. But all of us together, we're just kind of bound to fuck up. We need a supervisor in that booth. Maybe we'll talk to Pete. No, don't show. Don't exactly. Don't show it. It's not. We're not. We're not showing. All right. Everybody knows it's on the back end. Like, oh, okay. I, I, every, like that's a thing. Like, yeah, everyone yeah, knows yeah. that, like... And they said that on the yacht, that there's a feature. So yeah, I, I, the, All right, fair enough. I, it's, I got it. I did tweet. I said, we don't want anybody hacking into our pet. Could you, know you imagine that it's, like, 9 p.m., and Dave's like, all right, rev up the Clumber stream, and it's just him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want anybody hacking into the back end. They, they was, don't need to know that the password to all of our things is Doogsy Dance Class OB Top and 6. They don't need to know that that's the, the keyword to all the back. Yeah, yeah. They right? don't need to know that your passwords are I fucked Michelle Obama 08. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, we got some other stuff that crazy buzzer beaters and stuff will kind of fill in as we go. Dukes, I imagine we got calls? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's, go, let's start with this one caller. Really all right. Mr. Bosco. Oh, yeah. He did say he was calling in. I'm interested to see how this one goes. Rico, how you doing? What's up? So, um... You obviously alluded to it in, in the opening, this camden Manasquan disaster. Um, healthy debate, given that, I mean, this is in a situation where the Saints and the Rams didn't get a pass interference call. Bad calls are part of the game. But given that the ref, the proper ref, the trail ref, called it correctly at the end, you could see the body language of the Camden kids. They all knew that counted. And then it got changed, so they incorrectly changed a call, healthy debate, I think the right thing to do is for Camden to give up the win. That's a possibility. The thing I said was it is New Jersey. I don't want to stereotype, but it'd be pretty cool if the Mafia got involved and had a uh, an unsanctioned championship because the team who's now supposed to play Camden, Camden's going to be a heavy favorite in that as well. Get get They got a couple of days. Play an unsanctioned championship. The team who's going to play Camden shouldn't play Camden. They don't want any part of it. Manasquan knows they should be in it. Figure it out. You get refs, whatever. Like, I don't know. Just play an unsanctioned championship because the whole thing is screwed. And actually now, yeah. if, if you took away the game and said Manasquan was going to the championship, I kind of feel bad for the Camden kids as well. The longer it goes, Why? The, the worse it Well, the longer it goes, the worse it goes. But why do you feel bad for the Camden kids? They lost. They knew they lost. But if all right, so if the championship game was Saturday and they made a decision Friday and practiced for two days, you just wasted Camden's time as well. No, I agree. It should be well, Manasquan. But wasting Camden's Camden time. Camden could make this. Camden can make this decision right now, though. They can make it immediately. And this is my point: is transcending sports. Some things. This is an opportunity for the Camden coach, the Camden administration, to teach their kids. You know, it's tough 
to do the right thing. It's always tougher to do the right thing. I know you've heard that your whole life. Always tougher to do the right thing, but it's always better to do the right thing. They beat us. We're going to forfeit the win. They could do that right now. Yeah, I think that you would then get the administration. I could see the NJSIAA or whatever fucking this up as well uh, and saying, all right, they're not going to play the championship. They forfeit the game, but they're not going to play the championship. The new team in the championship wins without ever playing the game. I could see them not using common sense and completely screwing that up. Yeah. I think it's, good. it's a good idea for Camden, but you, you know that. I mean, we've seen that commercial. Dukes, of course, quoted the commercial with that stupid kid when he walks up to the ref and says, I knocked the ball out of bounds. Off on me, coach. That famous, what is that? Who is that? Allstate? No free heads? Yeah, yeah. Allstate, yeah, yeah. when he says it went out of bounds, that famous commercial. Hey, Alex, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's over the top. But, uh, I, yeah, the yeah. Only difference, the only difference with this is they made the correct call. Agreed. And then changed it to the bad one. That, yeah. that makes it an entirely different situation. You know, if, they, if that guy had said had waved off the basket immediately, tough luck. That's part of the game. But they didn't. Right. And I think that's why Camden should forfeit the game. Yeah, I mean, I know, you know, being ref nerds, the trail guy is the guy who makes the emphatic it's in. He's the one looking at the clock. The guy under the, bas- the, guy under the basket has nothing really except the set. He could have weighed in on the sound, which is very clear. There's mm-hmm. an angle of the sound that's – we'll play Jetski after this one, but, like, that's – damning evidence as well yeah i agree with you I, it's it's tough I, i'd like to see man they were also a big dog right the big my, i just yeah, i was just very my much so. yeah supposedly that was a it camden was also, well if you look at the game it's very like butler-esque or uh you know hickory-esque 47 46 the fact they held camden to 46 points is kind of crazy hey, I, too well and camden according to one twitter feed that i read that they didn't score when you take that basket away uh, Manasquan didn't score in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I know. Which, which you know, it's so tough to hold a lead like that. Too. Yeah. Somebody oh, said it was a Camden call. Take on it. Love the show, and I'll uh, I'll see you soon, pal. All right, thanks. Somebody said it was a Camden call. Yeah, there's that, a statement that, that they don't lose yeah. at home. So there's official statement from the refs. Do you have that or you have the audio? Tell me what you have. We first. have the we have the video. Go with the video. Okay, That's we're fine. just gonna pull it up. Uh, we'll run through screen it. a little bit. Um, but we were we were offered the player and coach on this program. All right, what? So, Why did you tell us? Uh, the kid, the guy also said he's got school. He's got another practice at five o'clock. He'd have to get up. There was yeah, a little, a lot of moving parts. Maybe. Other than like, bring a high school kid ultimately, on, when I, ultimately, when I asked too, like, hey, you got screwed. Like, healthy debate. How's it feel? And he says, yeah, it sucks. What else do we really have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're, there's, there's, you got to take the angles of, like he said, the Saints and the Rams. And, and what do we want to go into? All right, so pop this on. And all I want you to do, there's there's screenshots KFC has touched on. I tweeted from my link. It's very clear the ball is out with 0.5. There's visual evidence. But as a ref as well, just listen to the audio. A little bit more? Okay. You don't even really need to see. You can see it, but you can just hear the audio. I'm okay. telling you. It's tough to hear, but I'm going to bring it back. No, if, if, you, know, if you know what a buzzer is. Dude, you can hear it. Give it one more, give it one more and pause it real quick. Sorry. Right before? Yeah, right there. Dukes, you know what a, a horn sounds like. Have you heard this angle before? Yeah. Or listen. We, 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 I'm going to juice it a little bit. Did we watch it together? Fair enough. We watched it together. Probably, yeah. All right. All give right. it one more, Jetski. Listen. You can hear it. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. So that guy should have said it, weighed in on that. The other guy's got the, the And video. I asked you, I was like, was there a discrepancy somehow between the clock and the no. buzzer was delayed? And then you showed the picture, though, down here. It's, yeah. It's very clearly see 0.5. Like yeah, 0.6. It's hanging on the rim. I mean, it's it's just a brutal, brutal loss for the kid. So this would not have really found anybody's feet if it wasn't um, so controversial. This statement by the NJSIA says that once they leave the facility, <coughs> they can't change the call. Somebody's got to kind of step in here, and it sucks. It sucks for everybody because I think the other part of it, too, is like, you know, Camden is going to get the newspaper reporters. It's not like he's answering to the New York Post and shit like that, but, but like, it's also like they're all going to be like, Coach, you know, you, you won the title, but you probably shouldn't have been and here. And what can you put in, like, rule-wise for every high school in, you know, 
not even the state, but like, how do you mandate that? That there, oh, there needs to be replay. That yeah, we well, can, no. We can if use. you did replay for all of high school, you open up a fucking can of worms. Exactly. Guys don't know how video monitors. You're you're telling high schools that can barely get a 15 year old kid to do the clock. Yeah. To now we're we're installing replay monitors. No chance. You I don't know. You don't know if it complicate the sport. Bad calls are part of the sport. Hundred percent. This guy made the right call, like he said, and fucked it up to the bad one. That's where it's tough. So I want to show you something real quick. Uh, sure. Dave just tweeted. He tweeted two things. He tweeted this. Uh -oh. Clemmer is not working. He is not torturing himself. He took a paid vacation. <laughs> and there was a video of him watching like the private feed of Clemmer still sleeping. So it doesn't look like it's trending well for, for Clemmer. <sighs> There's a video of Dave watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pull it up real quick. Right. See what he said. If he, as long as he put that out. I, mean, I, will, we, yeah. I will say, like, Clemmer was, like, I was watching Clemmer outside. Like, he was doing shit. Yeah. And I think, I said it was so fucking funny. Like, the image of him, you know, if you're, like, by yourself and you know you're That's just in good. solitary confinement, you're not talking, you're just, like, gonna be doing, like, bottle flipping, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. right? But when you, when you, like, the thought of him, like, thinking that he's entertaining people is so goddamn funny. Well, listen, I'll give him credit. I mean, it's one of those things like when David Blaine says he's going to jump three cars or walk a mile on a fucking tight road. Like, those crazy things catch your attention. So a guy being in a, in solitary confinement, and we've seen it work with Jerry with the, the that, surviving bars. Like, there's things that work. So I give him credit for the idea. It's just a tough spot. Does Dave have the video? Yeah, we have it right here. Let's see, let's see what David says. This is a live look <laughs> at what all you – and, yes, we still have it. I can monitor it. But it's so boring. And so uneventful and so disgusting to me on a contest. Oh this is what all you clemaholics are missing right now. Look at this funny, the, the fucking skinny little fucking alien. This sleep all day. This is what you want? Look at this fucking shit. This is all, he, this is a live fucking look at what, oh, we want clemmer, we want clemmer. This guy is just fucking sitting here sleeping like a loser, not doing anything. And you clemaholics in the streets trying to make him God. I won't have it. I delivered too many fucking newspapers. Let this is. fucking 80 pounds soaking wet loser create an uprising on my watch. This is what he's doing. This is fucking live. Oh, give us Clemmer. He's just fucking sleeping. He's not doing anything. He's just fucking sleeping. And I won't put that type of content out into the world. I won't do it. Now, he's pretty pissed. But there is an element of Dave that... This is has the evil Vince, mastermind plan. The Vince yeah. McMahon, it was me, Austin, yeah, exactly. all along. He kind of did that with Dana, with the, the the zillion beers thing. Yeah. Like, you can't hit this, you can't hit that. And then he shows the tweet that he, he named his horse zillion beers, or I think he already registered a trademark zillion beers. Yeah. yeah. That's what it was. So Dave kind of knew the whole time. He's interact like, him interacting with anything obviously bumps. Yeah. Everywhere, you know, so benefited us for sure. Yeah, yeah he, he might have a little bit of Vince McMahon, but he is really angry with that. Like a lot of people, the same thing with the mints. They were like, is he joking around? It's like, ah, he really did look mad at that. He was really mad. But I do think but saying I, that, like keeping him on is smart because then it all also brings back yeah. like the ultimate reveal. Right. Like that clip is going to be yeah. insane when he gets full on. A hundred percent. Within his own Truman Show. A hundred percent. But he's also, you know, Dave can save things from the dead as well. So, like, he, him interacting with this, getting it trending, like, look at it. It did get to number one. You know what I mean? So, he knows how to do that as well. So, yeah, Vince McMahon, Dave, but he, he was a little angry. I'll give him that. He definitely seemed angry, so that's interesting. Uh, all right, Dukes, load him up. Charlie with the weird number. This could be bad. Charlie, you're on. Charlie, go ahead. Hey, Rico. What's Long up? Long-time listener. I think uh, we got a little wrinkle of the case race that I think you'd really enjoy. We take uh, the two groups, two teams for the case race. Each each team gets a side of a bet. Each beer is, is a point in your team's direction. You know, you, you're losing the bet bad. Your team keeps you got to slug the beers to get get on your side. How do you how do you feel about that idea? Uh, I kind of like that. Obviously, drink responsibly, but so all right. So if you all you each have to do 24, and Kansas is beating Kansas State by 26 points. The team who has Kansas State has to drink 27 more to to get back on top. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's based off the line. So, so if, say, Kansas is a 24 favorite. And, and they're up Kansas 26. State it's only 6, 7. I kind of like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. So, it's not the actual money. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. I would say try to do a – 
four point spread or a six, you know what I mean, where something's yeah. there, not just a pick 'em. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's not a bad wrinkle. It's a good wrinkle. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Good wrinkle. Good wrinkle. We like that. Good wrinkle. Dukes, next one. Appreciate it. Fits and Oh, Yo, we got, Rico, we should, what's up, man? We, should, we missed a big Barstool one. We'll get that after this. Go ahead, yeah. Fitzy. The boys down uh, in Florida. Happy New Year, boss. Happy and, New Year. Uh, first of all, I just have a quick thing. I think that you should responsibly on DraftKings this weekend put as much money as you can on Sean O'Malley to beat up and win against Cheeto Vera. He got his leg kicked. His nerve just gave out. He barely made it through the fight. He's coming for revenge. He's an underdog like that for a reason. I think be responsible, but that's a good ticket if you want to. If you're looking for something to just make a little bit of money off, he's minus like 280 now. But um, anyway, the real healthy debate I have is, you know, we always talk about different schools and what different conferences mean to different schools and whatnot. Like, what do you think about a school that's pretty, let's say, good at football? They have a good history of football and whatnot. What do you think about them, you know, trying to – is there any hope for a team to truly – like a school to truly have a, fo- a good football team and a great basketball team? Because if you look at UConn, they don't have a football program, anything like that. The only thing I can think of is maybe Alabama, and they're kind of going on a skid. They haven't made yeah, the I mean, they lost a couple of games. But they, yeah, uh, yeah Al- Alabama so. hasn't had a lot of historic success. I think there's a few programs that we're probably forgetting – that are good. I don't think you can be elite in both. I think that's very difficult. <clears throat> but I feel like Utah has been better than – like Oregon has been good in basketball and really good in football. I feel like West Virginia has been good a lot of years in the middle of the mix with that. Um, give me some power programs. I'm probably forgetting, Dukes. I feel like Texas basketball has been good. Florida basketball has been good in championship. I don't think you can excel – got to be a true powerhouse to excel at both. Ohio State. Ohio State. They've Michigan. Been, yeah, like good. Yeah, teams can be good in both, but being elite in both is a unicorn. I don't think it happens. It's just it's just a rarity. For you know, like an extended period true. of time, so, tr- like a true debate, extended period think, of time. Because there's not one that's coming to your we'll mind. See a Ohio State. Both in our no lifetime. championships though. No championships. Yeah, but sustained success. Agreed, but no championships. I'm saying fully elite. Both teams elite, meaning championships. Villanova football. Maybe. FCS. FCS, maybe. Yeah, okay, maybe, right. maybe. Whatever you say. Maybe. Whatever you say. Go ahead. Give me the last point. But but healthy debate, do you think that we're ever going to see one in our lifetime, like in the next 30 to 40 years? Yeah, do you think I we'll could, see a – I could a, see somebody school, running hot. Like what about Colorado? Mm, I don't know. Colorado. I, know I don't think either a, one of those wins championships. Coming, but, I mean, if you're truly right. talking elite, you have to – both sports have to win championships. That's very hard. Very hard. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Rico. Have a good I one, actually man. think Florida may have held the crown with both at the same time. Let's see. I'll, I'll... So they won in 06 and 07. When did Tebow win his titles? 06 and 0. They did. They dominated that time period. They did. Yeah, they dominated. So, okay, but that period was really only four or five. You know what I mean? Think about it. It's it's hard to dominate for a long period of time. We talk about Michigan yeah, State being like flirting with the blue blood. The they got one title. Wasn't it like Ryan Lochte? Or, you know, it was like a swimmer that won a gold medal and fucking like Noah, Al yeah. Horford. You know, you just went down the list of like who was on Florida's campus. Their women's softball was probably dominating. Yeah, their Jenny football, Finch probably their came back for a fifth was year. probably dominating. Yeah, exactly. You ever see the Oregon softball girls? No, why? Rockets. Yeah. So Houston? Hot. We got just a problem. Houston. Oh. We have Rockets? a big problem. Big time. I don't know if they are this year, but like I, I remember like 2020. Phil, step up. Phil, step up to the mic. The baddies. You're a little sister. Let me t- test this one out, Phil. Say, hey, hon, you from Houston? You're a rocket. Let me hear it, Phil. A little confidence. You got it. Come on, Phil. Hey, well, This is how I actually <laughs> talk to women. You got it. You got it. <laughs> hey, little hon, you from Houston? <laughs> Why little hon? Wait. Say, hey, hon, you oh. from Houston? You're a rocket. Hey, hon, you. <laughs> Easy. Hey, hon, you from Houston? You got a rocket? No, you no, can't. no, that doesn't have a this rocket. Is she is a rocket. This is what I'm working with. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe she does have a rocket. She does have a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's. I can't. That's you know. a different side of town. We, we, we don't hate. Try to have a little fun. This is what I'm working with. You like what you like. Maybe that we give like a Will Smith like a uh, catch type of or what's that movie? Hitch. Hitch. We get a little hitch guy for Phil. The Rumble Chat's gotta be loving that. Yeah. Hey, hon, you got a rocket. <laughs> 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 that's all. Give me the next one. 
<laughs> All right, so wait, but this is so funny. <laughs> Dave just tweeted this. Go to Dave if you can. Oh, uh, jeez. So now you know every time you pull these up, I know I'm not in the crosshairs, like knock on wood, but I'm still just waiting for nah, the bomb I, I to just, drop. Yeah, I kind of like today, like even that guy brought up like, "Hey, I got an idea for like a case race," and you're, you're like, "What are you gonna fucking bring up?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> just like this has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Well, LinkedIn thing? So LinkedIn just soared up from like ten, <laughs> from ten to like three. <laughs> like he's it's so like, he's so <laughs> mean. He's so fucking mean, dude. And it's like it's got like forty four thousand posts on LinkedIn. Like it's gonna LinkedIn's gonna be the downfall of Clutter. <laughs> And ironically enough, if this if this stays black, maybe he needs LinkedIn. All right, can we real quick pull up when LinkedIn uh, was invented? Because I have this thought also. Okay, like I'll connect the dots. I'll land the plane here. Two thousand three. Okay, two thousand three. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So more than we think. What I was gonna say was, wow. in two thousand three, he obviously went in full time with Barstool. Do we ever think that Dave has ever logged into LinkedIn? No. That's my po – him bringing it up now is even funnier of something he never cared. You know what I mean? 2003 it's like, uh, Warren, way different than Warren Buff, It's like Warren Buffett talking about Metro cards. Yeah. You know? Like, or his tax refund. Like, guy, you don't care about your tax refund. You don't care about Metro card. Very funny. So, credit to Dave. Uh, one more thing on Barstool. Antonio Brown is potentially going – to the game tonight at UCF uh, yeah. with the Storm Chasers. So if you were following, obviously he was calling us crackers and yes. being very funny tongue-in-cheek with uh, some memes and stuff. And then uh, this video came out. He originally said that only Gillian Wallow are, are the right. black people at Barstool. Then he saw Za and Took said, a shot at Zah. Zah, obviously we two love and Zah. a half. And then I, from, I've talked to Za about this because he said, make it three and a half tomorrow, meaning he's going to yes. the game with them. Um, the – I want to say someone at UCF, like around the team, maybe the equipment trainer or something, uh, equipment manager, is boys with Nikki Smokes, and he's also what? AB's Let's... friend or something like that, and that's how they got in connection. Credit to Nikki Smokes, but healthy debate, Jetski. If someone was connecting other people yeah, in college yeah. basketball, oh. who do you think did oh, that? Ah, okay. Still so works. It was, so it was, Still works. It was off the your Rolodex. But I will say I this. I do have a UCF shirt I, at my desk. Well, yes. Yeah, so I will I, say this. If – if it was any other school, Antonio Brown wouldn't care. There is a hook that my hook at UCF got hooked up with Antonio Brown, and he was at the game a couple of weeks ago at the facility. Got it. So there's an interest of Antonio Brown at UCF as well. It happens that I hooked these guys up, and now everybody's connected. So when Credit the viral to Nikki moment, Smokes, he's making this whole thing go. So no, when the viral no, moment of Zah no. on AB's shoulders comes out, thank you, Bosco. Uh, no. Credit to <laughs> Antonio Brown being hooked up with UCF. Uh, I put – Nikki Smokes and those guys in touch with the right guys. They're working their magic down there as well. Great content as well. Just happy to connect people. Oh, dudes, what do you got now? LinkedIn, too. LinkedIn is number two. He has oh. 26 minutes, 25 minutes to stay okay. number one. It doesn't look like it's going to be done. It doesn't. He's got to stay one for an hour? Which is hard. Mincy only did it for 10 minutes. Yeah, but he, you know, he told you about it 10 times. So. <laughs> He knows that. Hey, bro, you see how I'm trending? Like, I mean, you can't even, you're eating a sandwich. It's like, all right, Mincy. Like, we like Mince, but he's nuts. Uh, all right, give me the next call. <laughs> he's nuts. Be frisky. Oh, what's up, Bosco? What's up? Hey, healthy debate. Uh, first things first, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use code RICO for Thank a free no sweat bet up to $1,000. Thank you. I just want to throw that in there so we can keep one sponsor happy today since Mintz is up to it again. Uh, between that and the Clinner situation. My hold, on, hold, on, hold 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 on. Hold on. Time out. Mute him. Are you, I can mute him. Did you hang up on him? You just. Don't hang up. Did you? You still on? Yeah, we're good. I was just saying. Um, I'll kill his volume. Is he still on? What? What did Mints do? Just give yeah, cold words. That's what I said. We'll go. We'll talk about that later. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know what this fuck. Somehow this guy's got us in hot water. Well, yeah, I don't want to get in hot water. I know. Yeah, I, I don't know anything. Leave it to Mints to get us in fucking hot yeah, water. So we didn't do anything. Shut the fuck up about Mints. Is it bad? On no, the, it's, like, it's a like, level of DefCon one, which I think is the worst to DefCon. Tell on the yak, I, I heard that he did something that Jason upset a sponsor the, at an event, but yes. I, they didn't go into detail about anything. Yes, and he did, he didn't I say, haven't heard anything else besides that. He didn't say it. the N word. That's all we need to hear. Yeah. Jason, teach us the DEF CONS, please. Does it go down or up? Uh, starts uh, at lowest, I think. So, yeah, it goes up to five. Five, five is the worst? DEF CON 5 is bad, yeah. I thought DEF CON 1 was the worst. No. I think I'll look it up, but I'm pretty sure DEF CON Let's learn something. Uh, sorry, B Frisky. You got to. 
You back up? Frisky, you there? Yeah, I can, yeah you can't you talk about me? that. You can't talk about that. Uh, in my defense, the only thing I would have heard is from the Yak, and they also put the live Clemmer stream up. So uh, all I was going to say is there's an issue going around about letting people do stuff without proper supervision. Like the Yak called Vibs to figure out what was going on with Clemmer. Why is Vibs in charge of the Barstool main YouTube account? Some people are just honestly – don't got it. Like, you got it. Jerry got it. Not everyone's got it. So I don't know why we're confused. That it just doesn't work out for everyone. appreciate yeah. A, a, no, there are people, r- like, running the, the back tech. Like, there's multiple producers on the stream. I think you're getting – Vibs is the only one really communicating with him, I believe. I appreciate the kind words. You're getting half a story and trying to I mean, throw just, people under the bus. Don't run it over. Like – That's stoolies. That's stoolies. Yeah, they, they think they have – yeah, I mean, hey, breaking, the Phoenix office is opening next week. By the way. Really? Yeah. Barstool, yeah, Barstool Scottsdale. Yeah, yeah sorry. Models. I think you were right. Defcon one is the. Yeah, uh, I learned so, this. So yeah. if you look at like the descriptions, Defcon five is lowest state of readiness for increased watch and strength security, and then going all the way to number one. Number one is nuclear war is very soon or has already got begun. It. Got it. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Uh, Dukes, fire them through. How many you got? A couple. All right. I'm. I'm Joe wait- Point Pleasant. I'm waiting on our prop. This dude. is definitely gonna be about Madison. I'm waiting. Camden. I'm waiting on our prop. Dukes, which I showed you in the kitchen. We haven't had a knock it out yet. I don't think he's going to call. We'll see. Surprised nobody else did. Go ahead, Joe. Rico! Derek DeLisandro's friend, Joe. What's up, brother? Oh, what's up, pal? What's going on? You going, you going to the parade or no? <laughs> yeah, I went to the parade. <laughs> oh, yeah. What would you hit up? What, what bars were you uh, at? Not, not many. You know what I mean? I'm more of a walker these days. It's a lot different, you know? I, I know. I know. Yo, did you ever see that, that article on, on SI Live that, that Jody started the March Madness? I know this betting? for a fact, yes. I, this is, if you're grown, is if that, you grow, that true? If you, it's 100% true. If you grew up in the 90s, so what he's alluding to is back in the 90s, uh, a guy started, rest in peace, uh, Jody Haggerty, had a thing with his friends of like, hey, I, I bet we can all guess, or let's try to guess the final four. So he started the bracket? No, he started a final four pool. You okay. do not fill out the bracket. The lines were it's, – it's called a line for a certain amount of money. You go into that, and uh, each team – the pot got to, like, 800 bucks. The pot grew to a million dollars in, like, 2000, 2001. Oh, shit. And they kind of got nailed. Jody had to, like, pay a fine or whatever. Uh, the guy – a guy wins some boxes of ZD, let's just say, and uh, trades the, is going to trade the boxes in of ZD to get his house redone, Okay. And when he <laughs> when he tells when he tells the the people uh, you know when he was re- reporting his income and things like that they're like how'd you get your roof done you know on this, you only make X amount he's like well I traded in boxes of ZD for that they said oh how'd you do that <laughs> well I won a lucky contest at a certain spot and they said how long has this been going did you give him a tip and they all kind of and the whole thing came crumbling Rico down charge. yeah the whole th- the whole thing kind of came that's, crumbling that's down. hilarious so they yeah there's going to be a feature actually a little inside information having been a, a patron of jody's it's gonna be a little feature this year during march with uh jody's son and joey uh brackets and i think sue bird shot at jody's it's a great place great oh, cheesecake yeah. uh good spot really take care of people um good things but yes if you you can that's been written about in sports illustrated you can look up that article. It's That was the original uh, one, Final one Four. Thing, and everybody thing, thinks it's so easy. Just name the Final Four. It comes down to the tiebreaker of winner and then tiebreaker of points in the championship game. So shout out to all the Jody's people. Go ahead. Yeah, one more thing, Rico. Did, did, you, see, did you see that story about um, the, the baseball games? They put in, like, they put in women in the, in the game. Did you see that? <laughs> I did not. You're going to have to be a little more specific. Was this recent? There's the MLB The Show, the, the, the new MLB oh. The Show. They added, like, women to, like, the story. And, like, people are, like, flipping out about it. Some people are, like, don't, don't, why are you so mad about it? It's going back and forth. Women What's players, you're that? saying? If, like, yeah, I like can imagine. Yeah, yeah, if they yeah. were going to add women players, I think there's one that they definitely added. What are you talking about? Uh, rhymes with Jenny show- Finch? No, we would like Jenny Finch. Phil would like her in that game. It reminds of it r- rhymes with uh, Shone Clavis. Monet Davis. <laughs> I I would imagine she's in it, but I'll have to look into this. The I'm surprised 2K, I didn't get tagged. And the NBA 2K has the WNBA teams. That's fine. That yeah. makes sense. Like, 100%. A, yeah, a that's a, this is a little tougher, but 
I also think a video game of uh, juiced out guys playing softball in the park. Like, like think, Blitz think, the League with Think Blitz softball? the League meets Backyard Baseball. Yeah. Oh, that would crush. And it's like Joey, and crush. your guy's name is like Joey Onions, and he's got a, cr a chain. And when you customize, the chain just gets bigger and bigger and wider. And, uh, you got to be able to juice own? him in the dugout like yeah. you do in Blitz the League. You have to, like, the the, there's like a thing where the cops drive around the circle of the complex of the <laughs> games, yeah, 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 and yeah. you're shooting up in your car, you're and you can't get own. caught. Uh, like people bring the the beer to the thing, you can't get nailed on the way home. They're drinking like, greenies in the yeah, the exactly. Game. Like so, uh, yeah, I do think that would be. I also think I said this a million times. High level recreational softball tournaments would be very entertaining. Yes, with with old, like retired MLB. They guys put their no that, but just regular idiots put their own money we, in. We we still we still play Rico. You want to play? No. no well, yeah, that's just a regular game. You each put in a thousand bucks, dude. You got another update. Sorry, Joe. No, I just said to me, I just go like, it's getting to the point where it's absolutely so funny. Like, it's like the buzzer beater now. Like, it, yeah. Like, I could see it being fifty-eight and yeah. LinkedIn takes we'll stay, over. We'll stay right at five. We're we're gonna go through to five just in case. But Joe, thanks for the call, bro. Good stuff. He's still number one. All right, right Rico. Now. Good stuff. All right, he's still number one. Uh, what yeah, else do we like, have it's on like here? It's like legitimately the Truman Show. Yeah. Oh, I'm, we, wa I'm watching him do yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. How many you got back there? Uh, we got two. All right, perfect. Okay. So we'll we'll do this. At, yeah, what? Go, go. Let's have a little debate for Bosco. Sure. Okay, dude. You okay. So <laughs> la last night I'm watching the Knicks game, and on the broadcast. Did we win or lose? We, we got, lost. We got killed in the first half. And one of my friends texts me. I've known him 15, 14 years, whatever it is. He goes, who is this announcer? He's awful. And I was like, you don't recognize Gus Johnson's voice? And I was like, I've known you for 14 years. You're a huge sports fan, and you've never heard of Gus Johnson's voice before. It doesn't click for you. And he Googled him. He's like, oh, he's a college football guy. And I immediately goes like, Gus Johnson's called, like, NFL, he was a he was a voice of Madden. Yeah, I Is think that, should I disown a friend for well, this? Well, if he's really a sports guy, I could see how you could really like lean on him. But I also think sometimes things don't click with people. Like maybe he just doesn't pay attention to announcers. He was the voice of Madden Eleven. We played that game constantly. Right, but certain things like in there are certain times in movies you've watched a million a guy in a movie a million times. Can you name his name? You know what I mean? Like certain songs don't register for people. Faces, movies, actors. Some of that shit sometimes, like, you can only get so much in the brain. Mm -hmm. We've all had farts. Like, today I fucked up the odds on the thing. Like, I forgot the two zeros. What? Sometimes you just fuck up. I think maybe a little bit of a pass, but Gus Johnson's a tough one not to. Because of this, That's like he covers time. college basketball, college football, the Knicks, NBA. You know, he just like, knew him as college football because of Google. I'm like, he's called yeah. almost everything. He's yeah, like Madden. Like, you're right. He should have crossed his radar somewhere, but. On the reverse hand, if it was like a... Like, I didn't know. Put it this way. We, we, it's coming out tomorrow. We watched Warrior. I didn't know Tom Hardy was Bane. Yeah, that was And like, I didn't really hilarious. know Tom Hardy. Well, he like, wore a mask. Fair. Yeah, but like, I think... <laughs> it, was, it was clear. It was very but like before, I couldn't name you Tom anything Hardy. else Tom Hardy was ever in. Really? Truthfully. Yeah, it's just... I know the name. I know he's an actor. This is, like, without a doubt. I would have known that. But I wouldn't have known anything he was in. The Sometimes there's blind spots. The one brother, uh, the one movie about him, and it's like he plays two uh, actors or two characters. It's him and himself playing these two English gangster brothers. I don't remember what the name is, but it's fucking uh, fire. Maybe uh, the chat could help us out. He's like this English gangster in the 1920s. One brother's a little straight laced, the other's like a schizophrenic, uh, like gay guy, and they just like beat the shit out of everyone in England and run a bunch of bars. But I, I see why, like, the Bane thing, I guess, if you weren't paying attention to Tom Hardy, you wouldn't get. Yeah, I mean, he was wearing a mask, so it's like, you know. But, yeah, I, mean, sir, I think things black out sometimes for people. He's also so. in a great movie, and once again, I don't fucking remember the name, with Gandolfini there. Uh, they own a bar in Brooklyn. Gandolfini's, like, the owner, and he's the, the bar tender, kind of, like, shopkeep there, and... Gandolfini has to give the bar to, like, the Russian mafia. and it, Yeah, it's... that looked good. I think that preview looked good. Uh, again, we Lawless do... was the movie about okay. uh, the brothers. In we're doing Europe something with, with Robbie tomorrow. I gave him Karen Hardy Wait. He gave me Warrior. Sorry, Legend, not Lawless. He gave me Warrior. Uh, we each kind of review it, talk about it. It's a different, um, you know, change up of what we've been doing, different sit downs. So I think there's a lot of people you can recommend movies from. Uh, that you wouldn't expect. You could do it with albums. You could do it with doc. You know what's actually really good, Dukes, is uh, Jet Ski 2. The, the trade-off on the documentaries is going to be good. Yeah. I saw Dante blogged about it. I also heard it on a, a radio show. They were talking about these octopus murders. Octopus murders? Bro, it's, like, wild. It's, like, a lot of... One guy gets too close from, from what I've heard minimally. An octopus is murdering people? Or? No, they call it the octopus murders yeah. because... Ready for this? The guy looks at the board, okay? 
like the cork board and it's jet ski connects here and this connect and here and here and here and here and here and there's so many things that are connected another guy who worked like in it or was looking at the case goes oh that what is that it looks like an octopus and then it all kind of that's what they call it or whatever that's where the name came from but anyway he's like getting into a case deep and he ends up disappearing and a lot of organizations are are involved saying don't do this don't CIA FBI it's I don't know I don't really know what he's investigating. I just do know they feel like he got too close and they fucking zapped him. I don't know. Which that stuff compels me. Are you big into the whole murder mystery doc? I think if they do it right, there's a few that like, yeah, I mean like making a murderer was fucking banana land. You know, like, uh, what was the other one I just watched? American Nightmare or American, uh, you ever see this one? This guy is very straight laced and one day his wife goes missing with his kids and uh, they come to invest, or he makes the call. My wife's missing, and they come investigate it. And the neighbor, he said, he went to his neighbor's house, and there's footage of him on the ring camera carrying the body. In the neighbor, out, right? no, it's well, I don't think they nail him with that. But he's in. Uh, I think maybe they do. But he goes to the neighbor, and then he, the guy, the guy who's being investigated, goes to his own house, and the neighbor goes to the cops and goes, "Yo, something's off. That guy don't act like that. He's very frantic. Like he's very even keeled. Like." They said, he said right away, he goes, something's up. And he had a girlfriend, right? He had a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he puts him in like a mill. It's just horrible. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. That stuff, it's tough to watch, but it, it definitely investigates you or you know, entices you. Uh, you got two more? Yep. Let's go with them. Okay. Uh, Nikki C. Chicago. And then we're going to sweat it out for, what, 10 minutes with Clemmer? What's yeah. he at? Did we lose it? Hey, honey, you got Quaaludes? <laughs> How you doing, Bosco? <laughs> What's up? Bosco, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, honey, you got Quaaludes? <laughs> yeah, I, we've used I used that. that. Was, that was We're not, I know, I know. We're not allowed to use that line anymore. Oh, no more? Yeah, I know. Over the smacky chain. We're back, we're back working for Jack. We're working for Jack, so we want to keep things professional, you know? Good, yeah, because Viva La Scala, we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that back. Nope. Hey, real quick, Paul Paul, I see him. He's back at it today. Uh, what? Well, no, he, we had a good conversation with Paul today. Uh, no, 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 not against you. Hey, Rico, not everything. You know, <laughs> you're in a good spot, Rico. Healthy Rico. Healthy Rico. I know, but he was, Paul, he was Paul, fucking Paul. around with the rundown yesterday. He definitely was. He was taking, you know, he's taking Portnoy. He should be down, at, you know, back in Florida doing his thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. He's doing okay. Sorry he's doing okay. I don't know. I think having a direct line to Dave in the in the building is good for everybody. Because yeah. It keeps everyone on their toes. A little Plus, bit. like I said, it's a lot easier Dude, when yeah, you behave yeah, and you, you know what I mean. Booth, you show Jeff up. You do what you're yeah, supposed to do. Jeff, that's why you're in the booth. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, exactly. Love my man, hey, see. two more things, real quick. People <laughs> forget, Dude was the 2022 Bob Yako champion. Yep. Yep. Not enough people are still giving him credit. Yep. He should be back on Pickham. <laughs> nope. <laughs> It's a liability. And that's a nope, okay? <laughs> no, I, I respect uh, I respect it, Jakey C. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All love. Yeah, also, real quick, I, I, I do because I love you. Contact your bet. You're great in the booth. But what's it with you and JJ? Did you see, like, a special article from the New England Times or something? What, what's going on? With JJ McCarthy? Oh, McCarthy, yeah. <laughs> Did you think yeah, Jersey McCarthy. Jerry? Uh, I, it could have been anybody. It could have been JJ after that. I don't know. I just think JJ's oh. a good— JJ McCarthy. Yeah, I think JJ's a good quarterback. I don't think like I don't think I'm not I don't think I'm the weirdo here. I think the people that hate on JJ are the weirdos. What do we think about that? Two guys hey, walk by, one guy gives you the wave, the other guy no hands out of the pockets. Hey, last thing, Bosco. Or, Jesus, Bosco. I don't know. I didn't see who it was, but I, I wouldn't like that. I'm I a big like eye contact. Jared Grasso's wife, the goddamn rocket. Grasso's <laughs> got a rocket. Yeah, Phil. Uh, <laughs> that's now maybe that's a line. Yeah, that's, got, I a, a lot of there were a lot of replies last night. With Bama, Grasso's people going, a lot, of talk, a, lot of talk early. a lot of talk early, a lot of talk early. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe we but just me, put here. that on a shirt. Or I, I was thinking about this in terms of a merch line. Let's talk more action. Is she? I like that. Healthy debate. Here, Nikki, we got a lot of reaction. Is she half smoke? And half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ask her if she has a rocket. What did Meek say? Yeah, Meek said that. Meek said that. Yeah, I bad. said yeah. Yeah, he, he confirmed. Would confirm. Take a look at her on the way home, Meek. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, all right, Nikki. Boxes thanks. Matter. Yeah. Thanks. Boxes and guns gave hugs and kisses. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. All right. We'll thanks, shut Nikki. Up. Perfect. I had some questions about the uh, the Ryan Garcia situation. Have you looked at that at all? Uh, I have not. So is this the guy you just said got hurt? No. Uh, Ryan Garcia is a boxer. He was okay. talking about um, the guy fighting uh, Sean O'Malley. Um, 
So Ryan Garcia is a young, handsome boxer, kind of like the up and coming. He hasn't really fought anyone big, but he's got a fight coming up, and he's just been recently posting on a story like devil shit, like the devil's coming to kill me, six six six. Some people say he's really losing his mind. Some people say this is like a PR stunt because he wants to get out of the fight, but it's a, a little uh, alarming. Large would probably be the guy to, uh, to ask, but I heard Large talking about it, and he said that it seems like it might be legitimate. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, listen, it, it was a very unfortunate circumstance, and it's, again, not to get dark, but uh, the Brady Quinn thing, right? When is you familiar with this story? With the Chiefs, so. about 10 years ago, guy killed himself in the parking lot. And Brady Quinn saw it? No, Brady Quinn was on the team. Yes. Okay, and Brady Quinn had a very poignant quote that says, when we ask somebody how they're doing, should we really, do we really listen, or do we really mean it? You know what I mean? Like, where you come into work every day, you're at the desk. Hey, Jetski, how you doing? Yeah, good. And all I'm, I'm not, I don't even, you could say good, bad, I got two penises, or I just hit the lottery. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay, let's get to the quarterly report. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of a blow by. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, a little bit of a blow by. And we're all guilty of it, and we all do it. Quinn obviously had a horrible interaction, and that made him think of when you ask somebody how they're doing, it doesn't take that long to really see it. Or do you notice? A little bit of like a, an odd pattern. Yeah. You know, it's, it doesn't really hurt to just say, can I do anything to help? Or it doesn't seem like, it seems like you're a little off. Even if they're just going to talk about it. Yeah, you know, I'm going through a hard time with the girl. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Even just that little deter of maybe somebody going, you know, I'm not acting right. And, and people are noticing it to get back in. You know what I mean? It, it, it never hurts to try to ask somebody to help. So yeah, pick up again, it was, a, it was a point of that. So off of that, yeah, if Ryan... Garcia really has problems. Let's. Oh, I'm getting called out. Ryan Garcia has fought Tank Davis, so that's a legitimate. Let's fight. try to help My him bad. out. Yeah, let's try to help him out. Um, Is that true? No. So um, now it's what I just read. So Tredavious White got cut by the Bills. Okay. So Dave just tweeted. Dave. Oh, he did. Yeah. Dave just tweeted the hashtag Bills just cut their entire team. They will all be on hashtag LinkedIn soon. Hashtag Bills Mafia. <laughs> uh, he's got seven minutes. He's got seven minutes. We're gonna wait it out for him. Uh, let's get those updates. Uh, dude, you got one more on that back end? Max, Connecticut. All right. No, Nobody calling in with the prop? Nobody calling in? Gary from Queens is not called in. Jeez. What's up, Rico? What's up? Hey, question for you about the Big East. Do you think this is one of the most anticipated Big East tournaments in a while just because there's so many bubble teams and these guys got to win? Yeah. And, like, if you had a power rank, you know, Providence, Seton Hall, and St. John's, what would you do for it? Uh, yeah, I think there's only really three bubble teams. I think Butler's gone, Xavier's gone, and it you need St. John's and Seton Hall to play in an elimination game, or you need Providence to play Seton Hall or Providence to play St. John's. It actually would have been perfect if somehow Providence and Seton Hall played first and then the winner got St. John's, if that makes sense. So this way we would guarantee yeah. two of them. I was listening to Pick Central today. I saw you brought up the bracket. I was like, I just don't, I, I know for like content wise, Seton Hall versus St. John's would be good. Like that's, I think it was like a four five matchup. But as St. John's, wouldn't you rather be the six seed? I know you wouldn't get the bye, but you're playing DePaul, which is basically a bye. And then you're automatically in the tournament. And if it's not, you have to beat Seton Hall and then probably have to beat UConn, which I don't think is going to happen. Yeah. I think you're kind of better off being the sixth seed than the I five. think, yeah, but I think when you start bracket chasing and things like that, like you gotta, you're gonna have to eventually beat everybody, you know, or beat whoever is there. So it is what it is. But you know, I'm glad you brought up, you know, a certain team. It is getting a little hot in here, Dukes. But I've always been a, you know, it's a little hot. I'm sorry to take a break, but. A and, and and for Dayton, I this question it's for Dukes. Dayton, is there a point guard hurt? Yeah, it fucking it's blows. Hot. If he's injured, we're fucked. Like it's a fuck, fuck. Um, to all oh, my baby. people who doubted, to all my people who doubted, we're, we're going dancing, boys. <laughs> we're going dancing. We're going dancing. Nothing can go wrong. There's no chance you guys lose to Seton Hall three times and potentially ruin that. Who do they have last? Who's their last game? Georgetown? Georgetown. No chance Georgetown. Cooley was tired of those Providence chants and ruins the party. St. John's through and through, baby. Rick is a motivator. Gary, we're going dancing, baby. We're in. Guaranteed. You know what, Dukes? I might go as far as to say St. John's is a Final Four sleeper. I may even place a wager responsibly on St. John's. I might pick St. John's to win the national championship. Would the St. John's people like that? Yeah, and then, but like, I just wouldn't. The old then, mush, would they like that? I wouldn't then go ahead and say something like, 
oh, like I told you, like I know I was sort of fucking with them, blah, 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 when like if they miss the tournament, you know what I mean? Like I think now is your final stand. So I think you got like one more stand that you can make right now against St. John's or unless like I would probably say you look like a huge fucking asshole. We've always been pro St. John's. No, I, I, that's I mean, right. what a guy. This is from 1985, yeah. okay, when we got this. Before I was born. The minute I saw this in a store in, in 1989 when I was able to walk, I took a little bit of my tooth fairy money and went and bought this jersey. You're a grudge guy, and you like to dunk on people all the time. Like, I'm right to be taking the victory lap on St. John's, correct? Yeah. That was AI, There's dude. You know how much he's talking to the microphone? Like, that was AI. <laughs> I'm just right. I don't know if I'm a hater, but, I mean, all they did in June was, like, we won the portal. Mm. We won the portal. I don't think we're, that's it. We're irrelevant right now. Final four, this and that. Like, yo, you're not making the tournament. I don't know where you got that from or AI, what you concocted bro. back there. You yeah. learned. You clearly learned to uh, quicks. Clearly learned how to edit quicks, on yeah. your crease on your crease dive. You clearly <laughs> learned how to edit. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. But we've been pro Shout St. John's dive. on this yeah. program. Subscribe. Me, Glenny, Ricky P. We're going dancing, baby. Going dancing. Um, Three minutes. I might get responsibly stabbed outside the garden if I leaned into it. And went, got full, to, dude. and went full St. John's. We, we oh, got, I will. I will. We yeah. got to go like, to the Big East If I get the same intro, guy, imagine if I get the same guy. The Remember same the guy guys? that tried to, uh, tried to fight us? Remember we got that guy? Actually? Uh, uh, yeah, it got ugly. Yeah, it got a little ugly. Yeah, got a little ugly. I might have had some choice words for him. It got, got a little ugly. It was just a, it was just a little ugly. That guy the camera yeah. mic wasn't running up. He, he was making a scene, and I was like, hey, buddy, you got to keep It was just making a scene. We're not doing anything. He's making a scene. It was just a little ugly. It was, you know, cool heads. It was good. Everybody. I left it off in, in credit, Jetski. Truthfully, he was like, I mean, I doubt he, he just kept going. Johns. I, I, yeah. I doubt you he was You should see my Johns. DMs, bro. <laughs> he probably went Same to guy? That. Same guy. And then I scrolled up, and there was some stuff from like 2020 when like there was a little the, like Trista thing, and he was saying shit like, oh, you got this, whatever, man. Uh, I got yeah, your yeah, side. Yeah. And then like it, four years later, he's like, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. I'll kill you. So. And I could. I, I, I don't know who the guy is, but I like you know who the guy is. You know what I'm saying when I yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't know that guy, but you know a guy yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh. All right. Do a. Well, we don't have a. Put a two minute. Oh. Oh, no. 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 We're good. It's just it's, there's a little fluctuating. Put a two minute clock up. We. You don't even have to have questions. We'll just right now, pump yeah. up oh, our guy Clemmer. No. 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 It happened. Wait. What? It says on mine. It says it's still trending. Uh oh. Look there's at Dave's tweet. There's an eruption out there. All right, I'm going to refresh Dave's tweet. Pull that up. Jason, show this real quick. If you can. I'm sorry to say oh, LinkedIn overtook. Yeah, but is this, is this real or is this Photoshop? I'm not accusing him, Dave of fake news. Jesus. Just saying that would be fine. What does it say on yours if you look? It says Clemmer. Yeah. Yeah, we have Clemmer. I'm not. Yeah, hmm. Let's see. If everyone, my phone says Clemmer, and the, the desktop browser says Clemmer. I don't know. I'm seeing Clemmer on mine. Are you calling Cap? I'm not calling anything. That's, yeah, that's a that's a fine line. Don't say I don't put words the in my mouth. Boss says LinkedIn. We say LinkedIn. LinkedIn. The other thing is Go what LinkedIn. you saw was Bills was two. Was yours for you page? Make sure yours isn't the for you page. No, mine's it's it's on the search thing and you hit trending. All right. I'm gonna refresh it again. Refresh the clock. The thing that he doesn't know, Clemmer doesn't know he has to be more entertaining. <laughs> He's just kinda That's the beauty of it. I, like, yeah. Dave's like you wanna watch him fucking sleep and people are like, Yeah, we wanna watch him sleep. <laughs> oh man. Who do you think the most entertaining sleeper in the office would be? You. Yeah, right. You definitely, you're definitely yelling in your sleep, fighting demons. Yeah, we already have some of it yeah, on, su on surviving. I said we should have ran the camera the whole time. Bonus footage, but uh, all right, man. My guy Clemmer's going through it. Uh, tomorrow we'll run it with me and Robbie. Yep. We're gonna be back Monday. We'll announce some different things Monday. Special. Uh, we want to say a special guest. I hope it doesn't fall through. No, we're not gonna say. But if you follow me during conference championship week, there's always one guy that I go back and forth with in terms of a guest. Pretty sure he's locked in. Wait. Things should be good. Hold on. We have another update. This is just hilarious. This is 
Oh, I wasn't shaking my head to you to say no, 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 no. I was. I didn't want to either. I mean, you don't, you don't want to go wrong. Oh, O'Day, a bomb from O'Day. <laughs> What's he say? Can you show that? Yeah, I'm working on it right now. It's very funny. <laughs> from the oh. clouds, Tyler O'Day. <laughs> oh, it's moving too. Oh, that was from four. That was at four fifty-three. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, let's get let's go to like five ten and just yeah. See all right. If anyone has a, I have a an interview though. This would be you have an interview. You're good. This would be great if it was like a radio station. I'd be like, all right, play a song in between. New Dave tweet. New Dave tweet. What does he got? Yeah, but I don't know what that means. Then he just tweeted Clemmer trending number one. Forty nine seconds. And now now Clemmer's back, but Bill's number two. So Clemmer's back. Now, this could one. go. This is gonna be a chess match all night long. So. But was it was it if it goes to. Five, he can go live. Is that what you said? Is that what you said? He needs to be trending for an hour straight. Hour straight. Don't... You want to get in that lion's den? No, I what I the boss not. says I didn't goes. Say, no, I didn't say that. I said I just don't know. Like, I don't. I'm not saying him, but I'm just saying <gasps> somebody out there. Like, do you think that Dave was? Do you think Dave was on for an hour? Checking the, the trending. Yeah. You think so? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Then, I, then, then, then LinkedIn was number one Bro, for a little he bit. he spent months in a bunker looking at deflated footballs. You think he's not going to pay attention to that's this for different. an hour? That's di- that was yeah, that, but that he, was that was important stuff. When Everyone's he wants, trending page is the same, right? Like, there's no. Yeah, I yeah, think so. Yeah. Yeah. My point was, do you think somebody else was like continuously watching it, photoshopped it, sent it to David, and Dave was like, "Oh, I guess it was not number one for a little bit." That's what I was saying. Yeah. That was my theory. Yeah, it looks like the clock reset. Uh... Good show today. Check out uh, Storm Chasers. Shout out tonight, UCF. Um, shout out to Jerry. Broke the record in five and a half hours. Uh, shout out to Clemmer. Hopefully he gets back in it. Shout out to Dave being the, uh, you know, the mastermind of all this. And uh, all the callers, we appreciate it. Um, healthy debate. We will see you tomorrow.